every young person I've spoken to, uh, especially young people of color, got the message loud and clear uh, that they can be beaten, arrested, and worse for, for jaywalking, for just being an African American in a store, and yet you can have a, a band of white uh, traitors go and tear up the Capitol building and walk out and were escorted out. They were basically were escorted in and escorted out. Uh, none of those people should be, uh, they should all be in jail right now. If I right now or anybody that I know were to go and just literally push their way past the Capitol Guard today or a week ago, they we, we'd be in jail. And so the fact that all those people, uh, I mean, now you got to try to figure out who they are, you had them. <laughs> they were all in one place. Um, you, usually you, you, you got to see city buses lined up from here to, to for three miles to be, you got to see plastic handcuffs of, of protesters, quote unquote protesters, doing anything and they get thrown to the ground um, or sometimes peacefully arrested, but they all, nobody leaves on foot. Everybody leaves with their little hands in plastic handcuffs in the back of big city buses heading off to jail. That's the price of a protest. If you're black, if you're a progressive, the price of protesting, uh, I mean, I don't mean a riot. I just mean, a, you know, civil disobedience. Uh, just sitting down on the steps and they tell you to get up and you don't get up. The price of that is you go to jail for a night. Everybody knows that in D.C. And so to watch a completely lawless uh, a band of traitors and insurrectionists go and tear up the Capitol, uh, bring guns to the Capitol, put their feet up on people's stuff, take pictures of the emails, walk out possibly with all kinds. We don't know what they walked out with. We don't know if they took sensitive documents. We have no idea. They were walking past cops. Nobody knew that they had guns in their pockets, if they had sensitive information. And, and, and now those people are eating a, a, a pancake someplace. It is an unbelievable statement about race in this country. It's an unbelievable statement about what it means when you have strongman tactics from a would-be uh, uh, authoritarian who has now whipped up his own private uh, street mob that can do what it wants to with impunity. This is banana republic stuff, and it's very dangerous. But you sent that you just sent the best message you could ever send, or the worst, to a whole generation, black, white, brown, and otherwise, that there is a double standard like you would not believe. All tens of thousands of people went to jail protesting around George Floyd. You just you just taught a generation about the need for real reform in this country.